folks in the house. How's everybody doing? Five year anniversary and I thought I'd do something a little crazy and I'm gonna do folks in the house naked. So uh, I didn't know how to do this. So there are people that don't wanna watch you give them their chance and uh, we'll get set up here in a second. So give me a moment. Takes a second here. I'm trying to think of something to do crazy, and I thought, what the hell? We're gonna do this. Hope everybody's having a good time and enjoying the day. And uh, I was like, what do you do on your five year anniversary for YouTube? And I thought, what the heck? We're gonna go over the edge and do this. And so, if anybody's not, uh, you know, you can pass this video by. So, here we go. Is and a count of three. One, two, three. April Fools, everybody. Gotta try to do something. I was thinking about this and I know how it's gonna play out, so. And I was like, yeah, what could I do for my five year anniversary, which was uh, March 30th, uh, 2018, was my first uh, YouTube video, so. Um, I was like, what the heck, April Fools, what, April 1st, why not? Let's do something a little off the wall. So I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, because of Dickie, I tried to do a video of uh, my aunt and uncle's 50th wedding anniversary, and I guess it's HTML format, so I'm not able to put it on YouTube. So sorry about that. Um, I gave it a shot, but... Uh, I don't know, you have to do something to convert it or something like that. And I just don't, not chasing it. Um, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, Tommy, Janie, and uh, Lori were there and uh, kind of uh, talked to Lori about uh, you, your comments for YouTube. So thanks. It was, it was a good conversation. It was fun. Had a good time with it. And uh, Dean and Elaine, they, they had a, a good 50th uh, wedding anniversary. So that was that. And now I I went and I finished a book. So and so I forgot to I know I mentioned this. Um David Baldecci. I hope I'm saying that right. Baldecci. Um Endgame. It's a good read. Uh smooth it goes. Um basically two agents are looking for their former boss out in uh out in middle of nowhere uh, in his town that he grew up in. Um, enjoyed the book. I am now reading Michael Conley, Dark Sacred Night, um, more or less a uh, cold case that uh, two, uh, I don't know if they're both detectives, but uh, police detectives solving a uh, old case. Um, this one's a little more of a harder read. It's not as smooth. I will say this a good smooth read that you could, you know, it's like, okay, I can read another chapter, keep going kind of. This one's a little, a uh, little, uh, not as smooth, but uh, so far so good. Um, I got to pick up my reading on that. So that's that. And then I didn't bring, I'm going to show is Dollar Tree has, it's called Campbell Classics. And basically is you just don't need water. I've tried these. I've had the bean and ham. I like the loaded potato, that's good. And then they have a beef barley. I have not tried this yet, so that's on my list of things to do. Uh, but they also have the condensed soup. My dad does not, I prefer this over the condensed, but they have the Campbell's condensed soup where it doesn't have the pull top and you get 30% more in the can. So I wish I would have kept one of those cans to show you. But if you're ever in there, chicken noodle and tomato without the pull, a uh, bigger can of soup. So it'd be a heads up. And can't play it for a buck twenty-five uh, for us. And if I, anybody knows condensed soup for Campbell's, it's closer to two dollars. So it's kind of, you know, and if you're willing to work with a can opener, save some cash a little bit. So that is my uh, shopping tip for today. And then uh, topics: uh, baseball. UWM 10 and 12 
weather in Wisconsin in the Midwest, not so good, but they've been lucky to get some games in. Um, so, uh, but yeah, 10 and 12, they're doing all right. Um, I missed it. Amon ran uh, from UWM Panther basketball was in supposedly, I didn't look, I should have done that. I was going to, and I forgot to, while I was doing this, uh, in the state farm, uh, slam dunk contest, uh, on the 30th, I think it was the other day. So I'm going to check and see on how that does. Maybe if I see something, maybe I'll post it as a link. Um, so that is small talk and things like that. And so movie talk, I got, uh, two action movies and one comedy, uh, comedy 2011 goon. Um, I guess based on somewhat of a true story of a minor league hockey player that, uh, there's always on a hockey team uh, instigator or someone that, you know, does the dirty work. And this uh, it's a decent comedy. I think it got a 6.8. Uh, it worked. Um, if you're looking for a hockey comedy movie, a um, little crude, I guess you want to say, a little, a little rough on the edges, but uh, a decent movie to watch. Um, next one, Monsters of Man. 5.4. I forgot to get the year out of this. I want to say 2020. And same with my other movie. Uh, basically, cyborgs are sent into an Asian uh, country uh, without anybody knowing to do a test. And things go basically wrong. <laughs> and, uh, it's more or less a fight for survival against these uh, four cyborgs. Um, good action movie. Um, so if you are looking for... This would be on my one of my playlists, I think, that uh, action, more than action or something like that I have. Um, so this will probably get on that list. And then my last one, uh, Kill Kane. It got a 3.8. Um, I want to say 2000. Yeah, I'm not going to guess. 17 or 18, I think. Um, Vinny Jones. Um, basically, he witnesses something that he shouldn't have and his family ends up getting killed, and then there's a revenge. Uh, it got a 3.8. Um, so I don't know if it, I could give it a four. I mean, maybe a four, but you know, it's one of those things you've seen, you know, Death Wish and um, I think John Travolta and I Am Wrath. I almost, you know what, I put this on the same page. It wasn't a big, uh, with I Am Wrath, I would put this in that same area where it's, it's all right movie, but nothing over the top. So that is my YouTube video for my uh, 50th. Uh, hope it worked out. I don't know. Um, just wanted to try to do something different. So thanks for everybody that's watched over the years. And uh, again, try to stick with uh, what I got going on. And uh, have a good one, everybody. Mm, bye.